it's February, it's cold out here, and I want some hot chocolate to warm me up. What am I even doing out here anyways? Well, keep watching for a healthy hot chocolate recipe for you or your kids that taste great. Most pre-made hot chocolate mixes in the store are full of garbage. As you can see here, this hot chocolate has a lot of things that I wouldn't want to eat in it. Surprisingly enough, the same brand, um, but a little bit less of that garbage ingredients, but I still wouldn't eat it. Here we go, a different brand, a lot of things that I wouldn't eat. And surprisingly enough, Kroger's private selection only had one ingredient that I would stay away from. With this recipe, you can still have a delicious treat that is not full of that garbage and tastes great. And in addition to that, it's great for you. First, we have one cup of homemade almond milk. Now you can use your choice of milk. You could use a store-bought almond milk. You can use cow's milk, rice milk, cashew milk, oat milk. Any milk of your choice will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one cup in the blender here. Next, we have one date. Now I use one date for mine, but if you like your sweeter, feel free to use two. I use two for my kids. And here I have two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now I like my chocolatey, very chocolatey. You can use a little bit less if you want to. I'd say a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons. This is the cocoa powder I use. I'll put a link to it down below on Amazon. I like this cocoa powder because it's raw cocoa powder and it's organic. Now there are additional health benefits for raw cocoa powder. Um, for instance, it helps lower your blood pressure. I will promise you this is better than the leading brand sold at the store. This tastes a million times better. I, I, I really like this one. I've been buying it for a couple years now. Now the Vitamix actually heats up the co cocoa powder for me. So I, there's no need for me to put it on the stove or in the microwave to heat it up. But if you're using a different blender, feel free to mix it up and make sure it's really well combined and then go ahead and heat it up on the stove or on the microwave. In the Vitamix, I actually turn this on for five minutes for it to get hot. Well, let's see how it turned out. Ooh, look at that steam. It's nice and hot. Go ahead and pour it in. And there you have it, a beautiful cup of hot chocolate. Mmm, now that's good.